time preceding and the time on the cross, surrounded by his enemies, yet secure in his faith. The world in which we live, Lord, is full of conflict, and to be more precise, Lord, could we? Would our faith... Stuck already. There we go. There it is. See how rough it was? I was just take the shaft out and slide it on. And then slide it on on the end. That's a good idea. You know, don't watch me try to pull that apart. I'm going fish. Hey, Jessup, ah. just tell me a little bit about what you're, what you're doing here. Okay. We're, uh, we've got a very stiff Kingsbury bearing, thrust bearing. We're trying to figure out a way to, to get it on the shaft and put the two pieces together. The leveling plates are real stiff. And they made this when it was real, real rough finish on it. So the leveling plates don't... Um, swivel evenly. Uh -huh. so that's given us a bit of a problem. At first, I thought it was the pins being a tight fit, but it's not the pins at all. It's swiveling the leveling plates. Now we're going to give it another try. Hopefully we'll luck out. Yeah. If you compare the other one we had that we had to replace with this one, the other one, the finish on it was real smooth. This is a real rough finished Kingsbury bearing that's given us some problems because of that. I thought the other one, the other problem with the other one was the uh, the general general uh, bearing. No, yeah, both of them were the, the problem with the other one was the thrust bearing. Whoever installed it last, when they installed it, didn't have the uh, alignment pins in the in the uh, keyway for the for the uh, journal bearing or for the uh, Kingsbury bearing, and it smashed up against it when they put the, the cap over it, the bearing housing cover. The, the cover was strong enough to form that perfect circle again because it's, it's a hard cast metal and it's round, specific size. But when it was taken back off, that pressure that was on it caused it to pop back out and uh, 